Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out this green plastic mousetrap with a really nice picture of a cat on it. They say this trap is the last trap you'll ever buy, and it's called the Main Mouse hyphen AH. Now I've had a debate with different people about how to pronounce this. Some say the Main Mouse A, other the Main Mouse A Ha, but I think since it's so close to Canada, I'm going to call it the Main Mouse A. Now this mousetrap is not very old, but it's no longer being sold. It was patented on July 21st, 1998. And according to news articles, it was invented by some fishermen in Maine who came up with the idea while they were sitting in their boat. They both had recently built a house and were suffering from a mouse invasion. So they came up with this trap. It's a plastic box with a lid. On the front here is a nice label. And if you turn it to the side, here's where the mouse enters. There's a stairway on either side. And in the center of the trap, there's a wooden spindle with this device. It spins, you place peanut butter on the ends. The mice climb in the trap, they try to get the peanut butter, and when they do, they step. They get thrown off balance and drop down into the bucket. Now it's not very tall right here. Ooh, I got this on auction and it looks like it still has some mouse poop in the bottom. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Now a few months ago, I traveled to Maine for the first time to hunt sea ducks. And I realized just how cold it gets there in the winter. So adding water to the bottom of this trap wouldn't work. It'd be a solid sheet of ice. I read another news article where they said this trap uses antifreeze. Specifically, they said they use a liquid called propylene glycol. It's an antifreeze, so you don't have to worry about ice. Also, when the mice fall down in it, it will preserve them and you don't have to worry about the smell. Now, I'm not gonna use it in this trap because it's not freezing. Also, I wanna feed the mice we catch to wild animals. And I'm not sure if this is safe to feed to animals. It says it's food grade. I'll have to learn more. Now I'm gonna show you how this trap works with my pet mice, then we're gonna set it up in the barn and see if we can catch any wild mice. It throws them off balance and they drop in the bottom of the bucket. Now luckily there's no liquid down there, but I am gonna test it out in the barn. I'm gonna add some water. Here I have another trap, and this one's pretty damaged. So I cut out the bottom, we're gonna place it on the fish tank. That way when they drop down, they're gonna drop into mouse paradise with food, water, and an exercise wheel. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see if we can catch some wild mice with the main mouse, eh? Well, last night we caught a bunch of mice in our fish tank with a trap that had the bottom cut out. They tried to get the peanut butter, they'd spin and drop in the bottom. We even had two mice that were fighting and both of them dropped down. But with this trap with the liquid on the bottom, I didn't catch a single mouse. They seemed to sense there was liquid and were much more careful. I've even tested this version out for over a week and haven't caught a single mouse. I wish it was taller. That's a major design flaw. I think it's too small. But with this trap, it worked well. Now what we caught are a bunch of native species called deer mice. 
Because we caught them in a live catch trap, and because they're part of the natural ecosystem, I'm gonna let them go. They'll hide in the coconut, we'll take it out in the wild, and set them free. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button, and thanks for watching. It's a mouse stampede. I think that's all of them.